Hi and welcome in another webinar from Presspad. I'm Paul Novak, the CEO, and today what we're going to talk about is templates. Uh, lately we released four free uh, for commercial use templates for InDesign and you can find them on our website if you go to a link in the description of this video or during this webinar. Uh, you are able to click this link and see we've prepared four uh, templates for you. All those templates contain of uh, four different covers. Uh, you get over 30 different pages and there are different styles, different fonts attached. Everything is available for commercial use. What you can do with them is you can download them, open it in your InDesign, Adobe InDesign. And with that, well, if you already have the content, you will have your magazine ready in less than a day. But what to do if you don't have any InDesign and still want to publish your content on mobile devices or uh, in any other form online? Well, we've prepared something very special for that. If you go to our blog, you will read the latest post, how to use our professional free magazine templates. And inside that post, scroll down and you'll see a link to, or two links for now, to Google Docs, uh, Google Docs templates. What we did is we took those InDesign templates forget about the InDesign for a moment and ported them into Google Docs. What that allows you to do is open them on your, in your browser, actually in any browser, and edit them. And this is what I want to show you right now. So on our blog, uh, go to this section, uh, what, to, uh, what if I don't have Adobe InDesign, and scroll down for those two links, uh, cover template one and cover template two. For now, we only released uh, covers, but we will add more covers and more uh, page design later, so uh, you will get notified when they're ready. Uh, so let's open this one and see how it looks. If I go back for a moment to our to our InDesign templates, there are four covers, and they basically look those two look very similar, and those two look very similar. If you notice that they they are the same style. All that's changed is fonts, colors, um, the background picture, and some, um, some subtle layout changes. So what we did with this, with this cover for Google Docs, we took one of those and, and ported it to a Google document. So if I were to publish a new magazine and I'd like to use this cover, what I would do is open this link go to file and then make a copy. This is crucial because you cannot, you cannot edit those uh, files we provided, you have to make a copy. So I'll call it uh, issue number one and it opens inside my Google Docs. So if you already use Google Docs, you know how it works. If you haven't, uh, they will guide you through and you will end up with, with the stuff you're seeing right now. So this is, a, this is a cover that we provided that you can edit. So if I click here and change this name to Press Mug, let's call it Press Mug, and I say this is issue three of this year. See, what I did there is I actually can click and edit all the text and all the, all the fonts here. And what's more, I can change the background picture. So I don't like that picture. It doesn't really reflect what we're doing. So you just click it once. Um, press delete or backspace on your keyboard and it's gone. Now what I can do is I already have a picture here prepared. I like it. It's not a perfect size, but I will still use it just to show you how it works. So I drag and drop it right here. And after a second or two, there it is. I can place it where I want it to be. So let's say I want it to be here, resize it using the corner, uh, using corners and, and those, those squares on, on edges. And what happens is, what you can notice is that this picture is on top of all the text. So now if you go to arrange, order and send to back, this picture will go to a background image. So, okay, so now I have a, now I have a great looking picture. I have my title, I already changed the date. Uh, let's say this is about uh, digital publishing. This is issue about digital publishing. Publishing. That text doesn't contain here very well, so I will just resize it. 
I don't want to change that for now. And I don't like that text at all. So all I do is click inside that box, select it all and delete. Same with that, same with that. And there you go, I got myself a cover. Um, I think for now I'm satisfied with what I got. So next thing you want to do is you want to have that exported to PDF file and that will be your cover. And fortunately Google allows that. So you go to file, download as PDF document. What happens is that there will be a file downloaded to your hard disk with your cover. And this is something that we end up with. This is a first of several covers that we will publish. And uh, again, we will publish more templates uh, later on. So if you'd like to be notified about them, sign up on our website uh, or follow us on Twitter or Facebook. We'll be posting more content uh, like that in the future. And with that tool, you'll be able to publish your magazine uh, as a dedicated application on iPad, iPhone and Android devices very soon. So uh, that's, that's for now, that's, that's all I got. Uh, if you'd like to ask any questions um, and you are watching this webinar live, now is the time to do it. Uh, if you're watching this pre-recorded, uh, then don't hesitate to contact us at contact at presspadapp.com or Twitter or Facebook uh, or any other channel. Thank you again, I'm Paul and see you in a couple of days for another webinar.